Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I welcome you again to this period of 10 minutes with God in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Almighty Redeemer, thank you because of the power in your word. Thank you for how you are feeding us with your word day by day and from time to time. At this time, we have come into your presence again, asking that you will feed us afresh this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer of prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray. As I said, I welcome us again to this time of 10 minutes with God in Jesus' name. This morning, I want to talk to us about the story of the widow of Nain. The story of the widow of Nain. In this story, Jesus raised the dead son of this widow. And I've spoken about that, that anything dead in our life, God is going to raise it up. As I was made, giving that message on God raising up anything dead in our life, God began to point my attention to the fact that this widow woman, she did not ask God for anything. She did not call God to come and help her. But as we read in the account in Luke chapter 7 from 11 to 15, it was Jesus who saw her, had compassion on her, spoke to her, and raised a son, a son that was dead. So the woman did nothing. And that is why I've tried to title this message this morning as the favor of God will find you, or the compassion of God will see you. God will have compassion on you. And that is what is going to happen in Jesus' name. I look at this passage since yesterday when I gave the last message of 10 minutes with God. And I looked at it, I looked at it, I looked at it. The woman did not ask for anything. It was a barrier possession going on. They were carrying the son and the woman was following according to custom, according to tradition. And Jesus passed that way. That is the number one thing we see. And that is what we call serendipity. That is what we call a chance happening that is favorable. Normally, Jesus will have passed through another way. Normally, Jesus will have been in another town. But why was it in this town called Nain? In fact, it's a village. Let me read the account for us in Luke chapter 7, from 11. Soon afterward, Jesus went with his disciples to the village of Nain. It was a village. It was a village. So, Jesus is, he was in that village to do something. He was passing actually passing by, and then he saw her. He was coming from somewhere and going to another place, and he was just passing by that village. And remember, there are many other villages. Remember, there are many other towns that people were even calling him to come. But he said, no, this is where I'm going. I'm going to that other village there. And he was passing by this village. Then he saw the burial procession going on. Then he saw the woman crying. Then he had pity on her. So the woman did nothing. Everything was done by the Lord. I pray the Lord will favor you, will favor me in Jesus' name. You see, all these struggles we struggle, we try to even please God. We try to please God. We try to please God. And I'm serious with what I'm saying. We read about the heroes of faith. Who did this? Who did that? This woman, what did she do? She did nothing. And yet she got a miracle. I am not saying she should not do anything. But I'm saying that you should tap into this kind of favor of God. You should tap into this kind of miracle of God. You should know that such things like this exist. Yes, we advocate work. That you have to work, you have to do this, you have to do that. But favor also is there. And you should tap into favor. If everything in our life, you have to work for it without getting favor from man or from God, you are going to sweat a lot. You are going to sweat a lot. You are going to sweat and sweat and sweat. And all our life may be a life of sweating. And God wants our life to be sweet. 
Look at this woman, she lost her husband. We don't know under what circumstances. And now she has lost her only son left. And she will have been alone in the world. You know, the crying, the weeping inside will be a great one. And it will be for life. The son was the one comforting her after the death of her husband. And now the death that killed his, the husband has took the son away again. Jesus now came and had compassion on her. Maybe you have been experiencing a pattern in your life. A negative pattern. Something bad happened, something bad happened, something bad happened, and the same pattern. Maybe somebody died. The following time another person died. The following time another person died. The, the same pattern. What the Lord is telling you this morning is that you should seek Him and seek His favor. Seek the favor of God. Ask for the favor of God. Stop all your struggles. All the struggles you are struggling. That is the lesson you are learning from this woman. All the struggles you are struggling on your own. Stop it. And just sit still and be in the presence of God with crying, with weeping, asking God to have compassion on you. Because Jesus just saw her. Jesus saw her. He just saw her. And he had compassion on her. So let's look at the, the, the text again. Soon afterward, Jesus went with his disciples to the village of Nain, and a large crowd followed him. A funeral procession was coming out as he approached the village gate. The young man who had died was a widow's only son, and a large crowd from the village was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart overflowed with compassion. You see, the woman did not ask for anything. They just met on the way. Ah, as you are going out today, you will go out properly in Jesus' name. Favor will go with you in Jesus' name. The mercy of God will go with you in Jesus' name. You will meet good things on your way in the name of Jesus. He said, when the Lord saw her, his heart overflowed with compassion. People that will have compassion on you, you will meet today in Jesus' name. She didn't say anything. He just looked at her. He knew she wanted something. He knew she was going through things. People that we that God will send, that we know you are going through things, they are coming your way today in Jesus' name. Then he had compassion and he said, don't cry. He said, don't cry. People that will tell you don't cry, God will bring them your way today in Jesus' name. After he said, don't cry, he said, then he walked over to the coffin and touched it and the bearer stopped. Young man, he said, I tell you, get up. Then the dead boy sat up and began to talk. And Jesus gave him back to his mother. You see, he told the woman, don't cry. But he didn't just say, don't cry, and left. Then he did something. People that are going to help you in reality, they are going to come into your life. You see, so many years ago, I, sat, I got admission to the university, and I needed somebody to help me with the admission because of some problems on the way. So the person helped me with the admission. Unknown to me, the person who helped me with the admission have also helped me with uh, accommodation on the school. So I did not know and didn't tell me. So I went to queue. I was queuing and struggling with those other people looking for accommodation, not knowing that it had been provided for. Many things that we seek in life are provided for. All you need to do is to look, is to connect and to get it. And today you will look, you will connect and you will get it in Jesus' name. Honestly, I am unable to explain this passage as I want to. It is a story of the mercy of God. It is a story of the favor of God. It is a story of the power of God to do what He ought to do. Some people will say God is partial. Okay, God is partial. He has given somebody what He wants to give somebody and He still remains God. Why don't you drop that kind of mentality and Hold on to God also. God can do whatever He wills. And what you should ask is that God, do something good with me. And if you can pray that prayer, the Lord is going to answer in Jesus' name. This widow, Jesus passed through the village. Lord Jesus, pass through my life, pass through my, my place today. Pass through, pass through, pass through in the name of Jesus. Pass through and see me. And tell me not to cry again. And the thing making me to cry 
O oh God, heal the thing up in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. So, dear friends, brothers, dear sisters, dear is the word of God. Let us take it and seek the miracle of mercy and seek the miracle of favor and the power of God. God bless you and do have a good day.